Hello everybody, it's been a long time, has it not, since I've last done a proper video, and well, yes, I'm back, I'm back from my very, very long break, I think it's been a couple of weeks, maybe, a couple of weeks since I, well, done a video that contains me commentating and stuff, so yes, I'm back with a Cortex Command video, and well, it's basically the first episode of my Cortex Command modded campaign series which I'm going to be now doing on unmapped lands because well the original campaign is not as hard and it's pretty much easy to win I played this I'm not exactly good so if you lot have problems with the way I play and stuff well it's the way I play nonetheless let's uh, start a new game and I'm going to choose the faction of me playing as Untitled because I like uh, the Untitled faction. Plus it's a good faction mod. Anyway, who shall I add as my ally? So, let's have a look. I've got the Coalition, the Dummies, the Ronins, Ronins, I pronounce them differently, uh, Brown Coats, the Imperatus, Tech, uh, oh, never mind. I'm just gonna buzz everything up in pronunciation. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna go with something else that's techy. So I'll go with the techy on. I think I think it's pronounced like that because they can hack stuff really fast. So that'd be good. That'd be a very good um, teammate. Let's see. As an enemy, who do I want? I've gone against brown coats, and well, they really do. Uh, they really do leave a mark after a while though my units will hopefully will get stronger conquer a lot of land and eventually take over let's see we'll go against run-ins and dummies since though I think I might am I against two enemy units hmm no I'll go with this right let's start I believe let's just stop time quickly because that's, I've learned that if I don't stop time, lots of stuff will happen and I will suck. So this is my um, whole territory, just if any of you lot have not played this mode. And I pretty much have to conquer all these lots of, well, plots of the world, the planet. And this is just so I can actually start mining it for its resources. In the original campaign, you would usually go on a map, but on this one, it's it's different. You need to destroy the people's HQs, their you just sabotage their labs, their mines, take over their land, etc. Anyway, enough of me blabbering. Let's try and get something that will be useful to me, and that'll be a mine. Upgraded quite a lot because mines are useful. Oh yes, I do not have my defender pre uh, preset defined. So let's go and get that done. Let's just have the money rolling in. Um, equipment. So the defender is the unit that's going to be spawning at my base with the weaponry and such. So I'm going to be wanting somebody who has a scrap grenade or scrap nade, um, a pistol and a laser rifle since they're pretty much about basic I can get. And I'll get um, another unit for my infantry class. Well, anyway, this is the uh, whole unit selection screen. It's basically the units you're going to pick for your squad, in which you'll be dropping them down into the battlefield when you're attacking the enemies or defending your own base. Nonetheless, uh, let's see. I'm going to go with an infantry unit that has two grenades and a laser rifle and the other one will have one grenade pistol and a laser rifle then I'll go with engineer class another, another light unit uh, a light digger and I'll give him a pistol and a laser rifle so yeah this is my units that I'm going to have so I can set them out now as a assault team so what should I Units should I have for my sub team. Let's have infantry, two lots of you, two lots of you, 
and two lots of engineers to be dropped in so I can mine the resources. Anyway, the whole way of this um this uh the unmapped lands works is you have to not only earn gold, you've got to earn science and you get intel from the enemy's base once you're like, attacking it, you can capture their intel which is quite useful since you can scan their bases and afterwards and diplomacy, that's something I still need to figure out I'm guessing it's something about settling peace with the other enemy maybe? I don't know also I appear to be in like the most annoying place there is I would prefer being over here in this corner oh well Let's see, uh, anyway, if I get enough resources uh, resources and such, I will be able to buy a bunch of this blueprints and whatnot. Get some epic weaponry. The thing is, I hope to buy a heavy unit for, since they can take a whole lot of pounding. Plus, I can also purchase a hospital, which is actually also a good idea. But first, let's upgrade our defences for the HQ and the mine and get a hospital. And that's me set for a while. So let's put this. Well, the time's now playing, so I'm starting to get money in every few seconds. So I've got a bunch of money right now. Let's uh, stop the time, move on to hospital and upgrade it some more, get its defences up. That's good. So now that we have the hospital from running, that's a good ability since when I'm in the war or in war of enemy units, my unit's health will be going up when they're not attacking. So like when they're not in or getting fired at, or they're not firing themselves, they will regenerate their health, which is very helpful. Let's see. And it appears Blue have already taken the time to conquer the land, and I'll take this one then as well. I don't want to set it as my main, but I probably will have to set it as my main soon. Let's get some more money rolling in, and I'll plant a mine down. Oh, that's bad. See, this is, very, this is a good reason why I don't want to be here. I've got two enemy units surrounding me. I can't expand, I'm going to have to tear through them. Alright, let's get this uh, HQ up and running and defended, as well as the mine. I want them to be defended because the en I don't know when the enemy is going to attack. They might not attack me, they might attack each other, but if they attack me and my HQ isn't strong enough, I'll either have to defend it myself or let it, like, pretty much a probability of defending it. And uh, now it's most likely going to get captured. So this is kind of bad. Green appears to be getting the upstake and everything. But don't worry, I will capture hospitals and make my unit's health be very high. Anyway, I could also build some more airfields. Not capture hospitals, what am I on about? I could uh, build some airfields which will allow me to pretty much make out my spaceships cost less, I believe so. Clones should hopefully make the amount of unit, the cost of the units to be cheaper. Factory, I'm not entirely sure. And targeting, I think that makes my units better at targeting. I'm not entirely sure. Or it could actually just be some sort of special nuclear bomb. I have a lot to learn here as well, you see. And it appears well. God damn it, Blue, how are you? Oh, I can actually... I can build a HQ here as well then. I did not realise, I thought I could only build where I am. Just shows how I'm kind of new to this. Well, let's see. Uh, I'm going to actually leave that land there. Oh, maybe should I? Maybe, yeah, I'll leave it. I can increase my units, get better. Besides, if they attack me and I go in and start attacking them, they will be unable to kill my units because they'll be able to regenerate once they're out of fire.
Anyway, once I wait for this money to rise, I can show you what I mean when I get the intel. When I click on the enemy, I get the ability to scan them, and that requires 900 intel points. But it tells me how strong the HQ and stuff is. As well as that, I have the ability to attack the HQ and any other facilities they get. For example, their mine, which is a pretty easy place to attack. HQ, however, that can kind of vary. But most of the time, it's it pretty much an annoyance to capture. I've had some times where I've captured enemies HQ but they keep capturing it back since I'm not having enough time to fortify it with my own defences. Right, so I've got a whole lot of money. Oof. Let's get my hospital up and running. And a lab. Lab is good because I can, well, upgrade my type of units instead of just being some plain simple starting weapons which are kind of weak. Now that my uh, money is flowing in quite good, and I have a bit of science coming in. But I'm going to be needing quite a lot of science if I want to actually get anywhere. And damn it, greens, you really are getting it. There's quite a lot of you. Let's get more fortifications. And I'm going to set my main base there because that probably would be a good idea. Anyway, reason for setting the main base is, uh, from what I know at the moment, is that you have to set a main base, and that is whereabouts you can attack the enemy nearby. And as you can see, green has just destroyed yellow. Well, I'm not entirely sure which ones the greens are, however, so this is going to be interesting. Let's get a lab up here. I don't want to set it as my main. Let's get some money in. I need enough money, otherwise I won't be able to defend myself. So as you can see, my science is now going up, and I'll soon be able to afford a heavy, which is good. But if I upgrade my lab more, I will be able to get more science. Let's get more defences up there. Let's resume. So as you can see, for green I'm less of a threat right now. I would think blue is more of a threat. As you can tell, they're already capturing this land. But yeah, I've got less stuff. And they didn't get they didn't win that battle. Unlucky blues, unlucky. Although I think blues might actually be um, an orbital targeting center. Okay, I'm gonna have a good guess that that's some sort of bombs. Mm, I don't know. Let's go with cloning facility. Because if I get some cloning facility, it should hopefully put down the prices for having new units. Hopefully. I'm not entirely sure. Oh yeah, I need to have time resumed. Sometimes I am an idiot. Sometimes, not all the times. Let's see, is green, yep, yeah, green, green is kind of conquering the battlefield here. Right, I'm going to have to take some of their land. And the best way to do that is to, let's get some blueprints. Since I got loads of money, and now I have a heavy unit, which is good, I'm going to get a bunch of weapons I like. And this is a laser capacitor, it's a very good weapon. You have a bunch of heavy units with that, and you're pretty much going to start owning the enemies. I don't want a wrench, because I don't believe I'm a person who goes around hitting people with wrenches. Let's get my equipment ready. Now that, since I now have this, I can redo this all. Get two of those, and the laser capacitor, since a laser rifle is an annoying weapon to use. Get my pistol. Ah, uh, there we go. Along with the engineer, give him a, a light digger. A uh, pistol and laser capacitor. And the defenders, yeah. Let's give you scrap, laser rifle, and laser capacitor.